movement from Nigma. They're going to start to converge. No Necro right now. Miracle. And they want that outpost. Jump in onto the Wisp. No Tail going to go down first. He pops. Socks his power shot. Not quite enough. They can just back and get all four runes right now. I think you're right. However, they're going to continue to commit. The Clockwork taking a lot of damage, but does walk away. There's the Stroke, the Cogs. Miracle, no more fire remnants, but he's okay. Weeha jumps in, maybe to his death. Oh, there. Goes for the duel. This might be bold. They stun him up. Weeha survives. Now they'll knock him back. Ursa under tower. He's going to get brought down by Miracle. OG running out of resources is now Thompson Falls. They've already lost the Wind Ranger, and it's just mid one left alive. I can't believe this is all without Necromos. <laughs> That's like the hero you want in such a long fight, and they're still getting it done. They're still going. They found mid one also. Soxa has respawned. It's a triple kill for Miracle. Oh, he wants it. He wants it so bad. Oh, they're going to find him here. It's only a level four Wind Ranger. It's a level two power shot. She doesn't one more? Can much. I get another? Someone want to give a rampage? The ultra kill. And meanwhile, they're scanning. They're trying to find Soxa. They know he's around here somewhere. Mid one's actually got TP up. They're going for Weeha. Got some decent damage here, but the bat will survive through it. Now Miracle's arrived, and Soxa in trouble. Follow-up stroke, mid one also going to be in trouble. They don't even get the kill that they came for, and the godlike streak for Miracle continues. GH has been playing incredible, though. Been a really impressive clock. They're, they're very far ahead, so it's a yeah, lot easier. It's going to feel good. But he still hit some really nice hook shots. Mid lane will see no tail pop again. Another right. lasso. Are we good? I mean, that's the BKB. <laughs> so Mail doing what he can. That's the nine second hook shot. Oh, no. Oh, oh they got him. They still stop it somehow. And Reaper Sight. I think the cogs, uh, I think his BKB ended first, and there we go. Ah, okay. There we go. Explain it. So GG gets called, and not a moment too soon here. Nigma run it down. Two heroes deathless. Not much more to say. In the yeah. words of the BTS intern, Roland, game was good. Well, game was good. Game went for one team. Someone off. Whereas with the nullifier, he gets this crazy amount of damage, and he can actually just like solo focus down one beside that. AM, he's gonna jump in onto this tree end. BZZ out of options. Oh! Almost saved by the cold embrace, but Miracle just drops the ulti. Now jumps in on the Wyvern. That is a dieback on the Wyvern. From bad to worse now for Unique. Gets nullified. Still pressing outward. This is bold. I don't know about this. Even with the exorcism. Silence on Wisp. GH looking for a TP. There will be a Yules. But now the silence is off, and he just pedals back out to Miracle. BZZ with a pretty good ulti. The Lotus Orb is there. Anti-Mage jumps back in. They're not afraid to fight. They are ready to rock and roll. There's no answer to this butterfly right now. Phoenix Egg also coming down. Calatino stuck in the Sprout. And they'll find him yet again. It's a great ult from the Winter Wyvern, but still not enough. The Nature's Prophet survives. Palatimos gets the reset, but it's only going to buy him a couple of seconds. He'll still fall. BZZ goes down, and the GG gets called. That's it, man. Ice Blast comes into the pit. They do kill it pretty fast. Unique on the way in, but they're not going to get there in time. This is where it gets sketchy. You're smoked up. Do you back out or go? They are going to commit. They catch the Slark. That's the Aegis. It's a nice catch, but what about the rest of the fight? GH, but a that was on huge five. Sonic Wave. Whole team gets hit. Van score falls. Now Miracle jumps in. They get Illusion. Weeha able to live. And this Chaos Knight is getting locked down. It's a pretty good Ravage, though. Again, connects on most of the team. And now they get Mind Control. It's starting to turn in favor of Unique. Nigma might have committed more than they can handle. But no, now Palantimos falls. All the heals come out. The Chen ulti. And 19 will be the last survivor to get brought down. It's a five for Aegis and Lycan. Disastrous fight for Unique around the pit. I like how I said on five and Tide was like walking through mid. <laughs> <laughs> in favor of Nigma, rather. Aegis uh, in the hands of Miracle there. ZZ is going to get left behind. Do you throw the Ravage here? And now the Fish Wolf Man. He's going to hold it. And now it's a BKB. Fish Wolf Man does throw it out to set up the kill onto GH. The Ravage is sort of worth it, but there's two wolves. These wolves are just. Oh, no, the Desolator's not enough, and he's going to get ripped apart. 19 gets shredded. Manscore falls, and a JJ as the on core. The Ignis locking him down, but now he BKBs. Kuro silence, but gets off the overgrowth. Whoa, that was a pretty nice dodge there. Man style. Now the dunk comes in. 
connects on two. They need these kills though. They gotta clean it up. Weeha's down. Mind control lives. Oh, they gotta get Blink somewhere back. else. Oh, they're gonna lose Shad, and now Miracle's just cleaning house. Totally. Wait, to wait. This round actually gets the stun. That's the Aegis now. Viper has the damage. Uh, I don't think they have anything left though. They don't even have a stun ready. Uh oh. On the run now. That's the Dragon Tail. Miracle locked down. They reflect back the Viper strike. Down comes the hammer. Oh my but God! Dead. I mean, with his positioning, it's gonna have to be him. The Viper strike goes through BKB. Don't forget, Aegis picked up by the Viper. They're gonna go in and catch somebody low. It's gonna be that Coddle. He's still sustaining for now. Curl getting ripped apart by the Bloodseeker. Shad hits hard. That's a buyback. Another one of these spread out fights. They do find Aramis. Looks like Miracle grabs him on the back line. But now Mind Control jumps in. That's his BKB. It's a big Ignis. That finishes off Solari. A buyback there. Both teams dumping a lot of resources into these, uh, this fight. Taker does not have one though. All of the ticks from this Ignis going off as Mind Control blinks back in. Shat does find Miracle, hits him with the bash, BKB on, boom, ready to come back in. He has the eggs, but hasn't used it yet. Oh, we also find another kill. That's the pug. Yeah, now Miracle getting low, but he's gonna man up on the Viper. He finds the Aegis, but now Toby's back in. That's the end of Miracle. He'll buy back into the fray. Mind control goes down. Everyone with a buyback is using it. Solari's already died back. That'll be the end of the Viper. And it is Nigma that overwhelmed them in this fight, but they had to burn more buybacks. DK does have the BKB now on the run. Oh, that comes out from next time. Straight away on the next boss. Nice control with the Vortex out from Candy. Gonna get my control low. Go Stroud, trying to stay alive. No BKB, 50 seconds. We just run the last of the game. The Storm, that's gonna be the dieback. He's dead. My control will go down as well. But Christmas needs to make a lot happen now. He's still with the cheese to work with. So you can bait them out and get himself low before he has to heal up. And there it is. On the Kuro net, trying to bring him down. They'll be able to do so. Hookshot though on the back line. The supports are dead. And Chakra wants to buy back the Fae. Nigma still has the numbers advice at the moment. They'll be able to bring down Christmas. Buy back is gonna be there. This is do or die. As Nigma moving towards the base, they're looking forward. Yeah, Chen came along, I think, towards the end of the TP meta, just dealing with itself. It was a nice addition to the hero. It helped out so much with these lanes. Vengeful, Yeah, Fishman. I can't get bored of listening to Snip cry about how bad Chen is. Fishman is low. Shaq is free to control up Miracle, but before he leaves, he will take a kill with him. However, they might take some from return. This is a dive under the tower. The burn is getting him low. Five up. He isn't going to live. Miracle will, though, and he's got a sub. Oh, that roll as well. He's, he's had so much space in the side lanes. He's level 23, 31 minutes in. The They're closest to him is 18. Right it's going to easily be numerous heroes going down. Roll. Not to blink in Abyssal Blade. They want to remove Zai, and they're able to do so very, very liberal with the ultimate, but they blink forward. He wants a big target. <laughs> he got him. He got the Kunkka. Pull him back in again. Look for the bash of the Rock and Fatal Bonds. Team Secret are connected. All three heroes together. Puppy wants a TP out, but no clumsy nets there to stop that from Weeha. And a couple of illusions from PL are trying to stop this unbelievable momentum from Nigma, but they're not really helping out that much. A full butterfly on him. A Sokura. Why? Yeah, they're ready to push. Smoke it up. Look for a tiger. Blink at this of late. Yep, Soros deleted. 52 seconds without buyback available. Nisha starts his TP in and Weeha. Look how quickly did he move. But he wants the other one. He wants Zai. Pulling back over the arrow. He'll also connect with the upheaval and another fatal bonds. A quick double ganger will allow at least Matalman to escape. But you can't say the same thing about Puppy. Out of mana, out of life, and out of luck in game two. And it looks like Nigma have this one very firmly shoved into the bag. Either are viable targets. Of course, you want the Huskar because then you don't have to worry about being disarmed when you're trying to wail on your sheep target. You could go in general as well. I mean, he's been a fawn in that side, but no longer. 50 seconds dead. The Hunnan. Oh no, we want to fly! The tree! It blocked him in. He's going to go down as well. They just need to get control of the creeps, and then they could go straight towards the high ground or into the pit, either one. I don't know if he sh he's like, is this my face or, or theirs? Oh, oh, I think theirs. Okay. He has crimson. He has cheese. It's so difficult to take down. Infinite life yeah. at this stage. Because you invested in all those meter hammers, you don't have a vessel, so you can't deal with him. Oh, it's in some rain, make sure he doesn't even seem close. They could just blink and jump someone else. But you're not careful on the side of Flight to Moon. We got Hex in 15, Miracle getting a little bit low. They jump the back line, they go straight to Kuroki, but V2 needs to be careful about this. Oh, they're gonna protect him with the E-Blade, they haven't actually got any current in. Finally, he's gonna go down, and Timber's not able to eat the cheese in time. BKB gets a bit of an iceberg. He's disarmed, he can't do anything against 
Mantis is going to be cut off by the Sprout and chased on through. Miracle, just doing too much work here to bring him down again. The egg is on cooldown and been this long. And now V2 just trying to run away. Yes, you get rid of Wii, but he buys back. He sees that they can end the game here if they want to. Clockwork now dead. Always want to fly to be cut out and blocked by these trees. He can't escape either. And this is Nigma. They go for the throw and they're going to go to end this game and fly the moon. Still no playback from Weaver. There it is. Coming out now. Chain stunning miracle. Lotus Orb and the heals from Necro. Trying to keep the bounty alive. Oh, Evander dodges out of the crush. Nicely done with a good supernova. Zoning Liquid. They've killed off Boxy. Dead for a long while now with no buyback. And Weaver can't really do too much in this fight. Allies. Another ball in. Looking for the Phoenix. But Storm is losing his HP at a drastic rate now, changing targets, going from Necro to Phoenix and Mind Control to taps the old Ghost Shroud and heals back up as Clifford burns to the Fiery Spirits and the Power Shot, claiming that Aegis. Is the streak broken? Whoa, what I miss? See what Koifer can do, because he's just continually haranguing here and into Enigma as they catch with the Vortex Arrow, the little Wind Ranger, healed up by the Sun Ray, and now the Mind Control Necro keeps her topped up as well. Tiger, trapped on the low ground, a good Maledict, but Insania, where's... Okay, there's the Death Lord, but what, 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 what next? What next, buddy? Yours yourself up, but the deep dive from Wee, chasing Storm, he barely gets into Fountain alive while they lose the Witch Doctor. Three heroes gone, and Enigma, it looks like they might just have secured this game now. Girls like Liquid are losing their grasp on this laning stage, little by little. Why did they? Cliff? Oh, never mind. The wave into the tower. I gotcha. And they're rolling bottom. Decent amount of damage onto Miracle. He's going to try and Earth Shock away. Shackle Shot there doesn't latch. Boxy to Tiger, but Miracle cutting through trees. Oh, he's breaking ankle as he's out of there. Tiger, go for the roll. Long range. Go, go for. No, he's not good. Make a show in late. Is Weehaw going to go for the jump? He pops the regen. Miracle have a call of destruction. They've got the Rolling Thunder with the BKE what? from this Ursa. Now a lasso on the lone druid. He's in the back lines. He's isolated. He's being caught out and picked off. Not quite. Does get a little bit of maneuverability away, but the supernova is untouched. And Tiger caught in the midst of it all as Nigma strike into the middle of Liquid's line. Mickey got a pounce in a second. He tries to go for the T.